Track exclusive, as usually from Slow Schools Violin here in Gothenburg. Today we have a special guest. We should have spoken to him a few days ago, but we didn't have time. Mr. Yuan Rugestet. How are you today? Very nice, thanks. Nice to be here. Well, you ran here like a week ago uh, at this magnificent track. <laughs> um, <clears throat> coming like just two days before you raced in Oslo at the Diamond League at 800. Uh, 147. Then you came here and ran another 147. Tell us about both races. What, what was what was good about them? Yeah, okay. First of all, the race in Oslo it was not as good a start list. So the more the I wanted to win the race. It's not as quick as the race here in uh, Gothenburg. Uh, we went through in 52 flat, I think. And then um, I, I went to the lead with 200 to go and managed to win the race in 147.3. So I was very happy with that. My second excellent, yeah, excellent yeah. job. <laughs> yeah, it's my second fastest race. Um, I'm super happy. Then I got here. It's my home track. Uh, enthusiastic crowd. So I was, I was, yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, uh, brilliant crowd. It was cooking. <laughs> so the race here was very quick. Uh, my fastest opening ever for the first 400. What'd you hit 400 in? 61 2, I think. And I have a season best in 49 2 for 200, uh, for 400. So it's a pretty quick one for me. Um, I managed to hold it together for 700 meters. Then what uh, happened? The last 100 was really tough. I really was struggling the last 50. Uh, I bumped into a British guy, uh, 100 to go, and couldn't really recover the rhythm after that. So, but I still I got 147.51. I'm happy with that. I went through 600 118.5, I think. So that's also my fastest opening for the 600. So I'm happy I managed to keep it together that well. Oh, that's brilliant! Now you be so you're telling me you hit a 147 twice in actually like two totally different races. Yeah, exactly. It tells you something about like something is cooking inside you. You're just <laughs> waiting to pop it out. Uh, but but winning here or not winning, but being the best Swede here at Solskjaer also made you rep or made you eligible or got you picked for the um, uh, European Team Championships yeah. in Dublin. Yeah, exactly. How did that go? Yeah, it's, it's very different to run the European Team Championship race. Um, no one really wants to be in the lead, especially in Ireland, you know, it's very windy, it's rainy. It's a, it's a shithole. Yeah, it's really shithole. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Madra. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, I, and it was really like that. It was like 13 degrees, it was rainy, it was very windy. So it was a really, really slow race. But I thought it was good, uh, good practice for the under 23 European Championships coming up in three weeks. So. I got good experience from there, and um, yeah, the race developed um, as I thought it would be. Very slow. We went through. Uh, I went through in almost 56 and a half seconds for the first 400, Ooh. and then it was yeah, it was a lot of stop and start. It was like it was like an interval session the first 400, uh, and then I, I went really strong between five and 600. Managed to get a good position at at 600. But the thing is, when there are 12 people in the, in that slow race, when I make a move, four other people make a move as well. I was back at 6th or 7th place, 100 to go, but then I had a good kick and ended up 2nd. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah, well, it was a good race. Um, <clears throat> a little bit disappointed, uh, I left the Hungarian guy, I was almost like 1.2, 1.3 seconds after him, uh, 100 to go, and that was a too of a big gap to close. Yeah, but it's always easy to be smart afterwards. Yeah, of course. So what are you going to take with you uh, like, for the coming season here? Because I know like the under 23s is coming up in what, three weeks? Yeah, three weeks. Three well, weeks. Yeah. In Finland? Finland, yeah. Finland. So, uh, another, Hammerfors. Yeah, another shithole to run in. Yeah, uh, well, if you win, it's not a shithole. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is that now I've been racing three di very different races. Um, the one in, in Ireland was, was good preparation for championships. And I really felt uh, I got a good kick again. I had in 2009 and 2011 when I was when I won the World Youth Championships and was third. There you for go. The, for there the, you go. For, for the European under 20. So it's, it, feel, it sounds like I'm, I'm basically running well every second year. I ran good in 09, in 11, and now I'm, it seems to run good in 13 as well. Yeah. So I want to keep that tradition and also build on for 2014 next year. But I can, I can only start with this year, and uh, yeah, I'm feeling great. Okay, I got three questions here. Important questions to end this off. First off, how are we going to take on Busse at the under 23s? 
Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. Um, I probably have to box him in so he, he can't go fast in the final. Yeah. I want to hit 600 maybe at 122, then I know I'm strong because then I can... If I'm with him and in, in, in between 120, 122, I, I think I have a good chance to if there's a kick in the last 100. Of course you can, he's got no kick. No, he's got no kick. He's got one pace and that's it. You, you can actually tell that this, we, uh, this weekend he ran the Euro, the Super League uh, Euro Team right. Championships. Right. And he was fourth in, in a pretty quick race. And a pretty slow race, I mean. Yeah. Uh, so I think if the, if the winning time is between 147 and 149, I, I have a good chance. Excellent. Question number two. Um, I saw from uh, the Super League in Gateshead a certain Mo Farah <laughs> hitting the last lap at 50.89. <laughs> how would you, how would you stand against him in an 800 meter race? What do you it, think? Like yeah, we think don't it, know. It, I, we it, have it no is, idea. It, what he it, could it run. is a good question. It's a good question. Um, I think that he's in a quick race and could probably do 146 high, 147 yeah. something like that. Yeah. But it is different to run a fast uh, 800 compared to a last 400 in a, in a race like that. Because, I mean, they went through 4K in like 11.45. It's makes basically true. a fresh pressure hole for him. So true. he was probably pretty fresh by then. But I think if we if we go through in 1.47, um, I think I can, I can beat him. Um, the risk is that um, yeah, he, he can probably do 1.45 maybe as well if he, if he gets some good preparation workouts. Is, is the, it's not going to be a quick, uh, tight race, I think, if I race him. Ski track is going to try to arrange this. <laughs> but it's coming. But now the last one. You you said you only run good every other year. 09, 11, thir now maybe 13, or looking like 13. Yeah. Then it's going to be 15, 17. Olympics, though. Yeah. They're, they're <laughs> even years. How are you going to solve this problem? Yeah. Um, I'm going to start next year by running a well in the in Euro, Euro Championships uh, to, in Zurich and then I'm going to hit the finals in Rio in uh, 2016 and then really I'm going to grab a really medal in 2020. He's the man, he knows it all and this is Ski Track over and out. <laughs> <laughs>